done one of these in a while. Hey guys, so I decided to do a kind of a different kind of video, um, but kind of like also your stereotypical kind of YouTube video. What's in my bag? But I realized, because I thought I had done this before, because I know I've done um, my work bag when I worked at the Great Movie Ride, and then I've done my work bag, like my pin pouch when I used to work for a frozen sing-along slash pack or uh, crowd control um, and I do want to do especially because I have a new work bag for children's activities this video is what is in my Disney bag this is kind of like literally like my grab and go everyday Disney park bag uh, so if you've been watching my vlogs you've seen this bag before this is my Disney bag this is also my everyday backpack in general so on the outside pockets I always keep a protein bar um, I have little protein bites by tone it up um, and the size I always keep like protein bar here and then typically like my phone will go here or just I'll keep this empty for like if I get like a candy or anything that I want to put here I'll leave this pocket empty but um, I always try to bring a protein bar with me just because I get hungry at odd times sometimes. Um, so I always have, and I don't know if I'll be able to eat something where we are, depending on where we are at the time that I'm hungry. And so just grabbing a protein bar, knowing that I have that, that it's nutritious, that it will keep me going at least for another hour or so. I can eat it in line while waiting for a ride or something. Tying in with that, uh, it's not in here right now, um, cause I have to wash the lid, but I have a water bottle. Now this is a 15, I want to say it's a 15 ounce water bottle. I actually have a bigger one that I put in my backpack. Um, this one fits perfectly. Um, the other one I have to like strategically put it in my bag. But because I typically go, if I go out by myself, I'll sometimes grab, I'll just grab this one because it's easier to get it in and out of my bag. But if Jared and I are going, I will definitely bring a bigger water bottle. I think it's 24, 20, 24 ounce water bottle. Um, I highly recommend you getting the a stainless steel, um, it's like double layered, you know what I mean? Where it's got like a single layer on the inside and then an outer layer. That way it won't sweat all of your stuff. And I always try to fill this up before we leave. I will put like a ton of ice in it and like fill it up halfway. Or I'll try to fill it up as much as I can with water and then, or not water, ice and then put water in it. That way the water will stay very, very cold even if I don't like grab this for like another hour or so. But I highly, 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 highly recommend you bring a water bottle even if it's a small one like this. Be and keep water in it at all times because Florida it is hot especially during the summer. Again, just like with burning calories, you don't realize how much you're sweating and how dehydrated you get. And at least with this, um, cause you can bring your bags, unlike Universal for like roller coasters and stuff, you can take your bags with you on a lot of our rides at Disney. And so if you're getting thirsty waiting in line um, or wherever, you will always have water accessible to you. And you can you can, you can, you can always go up to a counter at any quick food service restaurant, ask for a free cup of water. You can even ask for a free cup of ice if you just want ice and you have like water in here already and you can fill it up. There's water fountains everywhere. Um, I will say that the water fountains, water doesn't always taste good, um, but the water that they get from quick food service restaurants typically tastes real good. There's also, um, at some locations, they've been adding the, um, where like you put your water bottle up to the machine and it tells you how many water, how, how many ounces of water it's saved. They've been putting those up a lot more as well. Just keep a water bottle in your backpack, guys. Like it's, and drink your water. Tying in with that, this I've literally been trying to take with me everywhere because everyone is embracing the paper straw, which is great. Throwing that out there, I love that everyone is trying to use, do reusable um, like utensils and uh, no more plastic and everything is paper. That's awesome. Except I hate paper straws. I hate the texture. I'm just thinking about it. It makes me cringe. So I actually, and I got these on Amazon. You can get these anywhere really nowadays. I think they actually sell some at... Um, the tea store, I think it's called Mickey's Pantry at Disney Springs. I know they have them there. 
um, not these specifically, but like plastic straws with little bags. I got these on Amazon. They're uh, multi-chrome uh, stainless steel straws. I got, it's like a pack of, I want to say eight. I always keep two in this little bag. This is the travel bag it came with. I want to get like a little plastic container because I don't trust this bag. But um, I always make sure that I have at least two straws in here. And whenever, um, I always try to rinse them off or whatever, like before I put them back in the bag. So I try to clean them as much as I possibly can. Um, but like, Disney does not have plastic straws anywhere. In, in Disney Springs, it's even hard to find plastic straws. Bring these if you really want to use a straw. Just get it. It's like four bucks. Just keep it, and I, I keep it in, like I said, I keep it in my bag at all times, even just like going around places. Um, this is something that I got in the China Pavilion at Epcot. Um, I highly recommend you bring something similar to this if you get hot easily. This is actually two things. It's a fan holder and a fan. Um, it has like a little clasp thing here to keep it together in case you didn't want to buy a little cover, but I like this just because I put lots of things in my bag and I don't want this to get damaged. This has saved my butt countless times. Um, I got this at Epcot. I think they still actually have this. I want to say it was like $15. It might have been a little more. But this, as well as my water bottle, has saved me so much, especially this summer, because it gets so humid. And even just standing in line with no shade, you get so hot. But as soon as you break this out, you do this. Sunglasses! I rarely ever use sunglasses, mostly because I already wear glasses and I like to be able to see with my glasses and my prescription sunglasses don't fit in this case. So I typically put glasses over or put sunglasses over my regular glasses, but whenever I do that, it like pushes my glasses into my nose. But um, fun fact, I actually just lost, I had a white pair that fit perfectly in here. And I lost them in the sea like five, ten minutes before Jared and I left from our beach trip. So I wasn't too upset about it because I had a feeling it was going to happen. Um, and I have like three other pairs of Disney sunglasses, so I'm not too upset. But um, sunglasses protect your eyes. Uh, Instax camera. I always bring this with me. Always forget I have it. <laughs> Uh, just because I like capturing little moments. Um, even though Jared and I go to the parks a lot, if we ever go with someone um, that isn't always with us, I'll try to take a special picture or if we're doing an experience that we really enjoy, that's like our first time, I'll take a picture. I just love in stacks um, photos, Polaroid photos. Sunscreen. Sunscreen, 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 sunscreen. This is my favorite sunscreen. It's the Kula uh, White Tea Moisturizer SPF 50 Organic Skin Care. Um, I, Jared and I actually have sunscreen right by the door, so we always remember to put it on uh, before we leave, but just in case I need to reapply, like maybe the sun has been portress all day, or I just completely forget, especially with my face, I always forget to put this on my face, um, we can put this on in the car. I actually have two bottles, I have this bottle and then I have a smaller travel bottle. Then I have my Pokemon Go Plus in here, and then I actually have both, where's our other fuel rod? I think Jared has it. Um, so I have two fuel rods. I have one that I used to keep in my work bag, and then I had one that I keep kept in this bag, and now I just keep both of them in here. Um, if you don't know what a fuel rod is, fuel rods are, it's basically a charge bar for your phone. Um, basically this is charged full of power. You take your little cable, you plug it in here, and then plug it into your phone. Fuel rods, they have literally the Samsung, and then they have this like USB-C, I think that's Samsung anyway, and then they have the lightning cable. So whatever your phone needs, unless you've got like the older, older phones, it comes with the, ca the little cables in here and then it comes with this. This whole little thing here, I don't have the lightning cable in here by the way, it's somewhere. Um, this whole thing is like $30, but what's cool about this is that I want to say every single, if not most of the Disney resorts, and every single park, including Disney Springs, has a fuel rod station where you can buy and swap. And what I mean by that is, so you use this, your phone's died from all the live streaming and filming you've been doing all day. And then you use this, you plug your phone into it, and then this dies. Phone's fully charged, but the day's only half over, and you're going to need your phone later, and you're going to need to charge it later. 
You can go to your nearest fuel rod station, stick this into it, or hit swap, stick this into it, and it'll give you a fully charged one. So because Jared and I go to the parks often, um, and you can also charge these yourselves when you get home. So you get to keep this. You can swap them out as many times as you want throughout Disney property, and you can charge it yourself. There is a cable here. I think this is to actually charge it now that I think about it. You, yeah, you plug this in here, the USB-C in here, and then you plug this into a wall or a computer or whatever you're using to charge this, and it'll charge it fully. So yeah, if Jared and I go somewhere we know we don't have a fuel rug, we'll try to, I always try to keep, I actually have another charge bar that I keep in here. Um, I always try to keep at least one fully charged charge bar just because I never know where I'm going to be that I'm going to need to charge my phone. And you all know I film a lot, use my phone a lot. So I always want to make sure that is there. Um, I keep my magic band and a Disney gift card. This is one of the ones you can get from the festivals. If you do go to Epcot anytime other than during the summer, there will be a food festival going on and they have these cute little wrist um, gift cards. Jared and I like putting money on gift cards just so that we can keep track and budget, especially when we do the festivals, specifically when we do the festivals. Um, but like, we'll try to keep money on this and like use this first um, to help kind of budget and how much money we spend going to the parks. I also always try to keep, I always get picky about my magic bands, I have a ton of different magic bands, so typically I choose what magic band I want before I go, but I always have one on my bag just in case I don't have time to go and grab one. It's not in here right now, but I typically have an anti-bacterial um, little gel thing here. And then in my front pocket I have like every possible medicine you can think of. I have nasal decongestant, I have anti-diarrhea, I have motion sickness, I have extra strength, strength Tylenol, I have chapstick, I have cough drops, I have severe cold, and then I even have some extra batteries, um, like energy vitamins and some pads and all sorts of things in the front zipper in case I ever need that. But that is pretty much everything that I bring with me. I highly recommend you doing mobile ordering using the app. Explore the app. They always seem to change it every time I go to use it. But um, that is pretty much everything that I take with me in my park bag. I do want to do a what to pack slash what to bring um, to on your Disney trip just because I feel like I haven't done one since all of the restrictions have happened and I feel like I have more to say when it comes to that. Maybe some tips and tricks so I may do a video like that. But other than that, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. I hope this helped you. Um, also. This is the, a lounge fly backpack. It's the Run Disney one that they did a couple years back. Those, these are the best sizes for a Disney backpack. Like, I absolutely love this. It's not too big, it's not too small. You can hold a lot in here because it's like really deep. So, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!